Hello. I thought I recorded, but I realized I wasn't recording. So this is take two. Hello. Oh, I need air. This. Anyway, um, where am I? So, oh, so this morning I woke up to come to Damyang, which is south of Korea. It is close to, it's an hour from Gwangju. So this trip was really random. I didn't pack any extra clothes. I, I planned on doing a day trip, but I see how tired I am. So maybe I'll spend the night here. Um, I just have my camera and my phone, my charger, my wallet, and what I'm wearing. And so I said, I wanted to come to the bamboo forest. This is what you see, the bamboo forest. And, uh, Try it out, take some pictures. Also, it is summer vacation, so it's Tuesday, and I have two weeks off before school starts back for the fall, which I'm super excited about because that means it's closer to the end of the entire school year. Hallelujah. So, um, anyway, this is what this video is about my adventure at the bamboo forest, and uh, I don't think I have much to talk about. I guess I'll tell y'all about English camp. So this year for English camp, since the virus has gotten bad, they have, um, <sighs> the kids were supposed to come to school for English camp, but like I said, the virus got bad. So they ended up turning the in-person English camp to um, phone, phone English camp. So I had to call each student 10 minutes at Monday through Friday. I did third, no, yeah, I did third grade and fourth grade. And I had to call them for 10 minutes. And I did that from nine to 1220. And that pretty much gave me confirmation that I don't need no telephone job. Like, what is that? Those people who call you all the time? It was so depressing, y'all. Oh, it was so sad to just sit there and have to talk to, you know, talk to the kids and not really have them there. But I did my two weeks. My time is up and now I'm on vacation. So I'm just gonna be kind of traveling around Korea, mostly the southern part, and trying to get as many pictures as I can while the weather's nice before um, typhoon season comes and it starts raining. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. make a note this area is so beautiful it is surrounded by mountains the weather is very temperate it's not too hot it's not too cold and um, it's not too crowded like it's spaced out so I'm gonna show you this view this is really pretty that's that's some of the mountains and so this whole area is surrounded by mountains something I don't really get to see in Seoul so I suggest coming down to this area. It's really beautiful. The land is very fertile. I can tell by the greenery of the trees and how, um, how much vegetation and greenery it is. It's really pretty. <laughs> It was really big. I did not walk the entire thing. 
but it's something I highly recommend if you come to Korea to visit. It was really nice, and this whole entire little area is really cute. A lot of little small traditional Korean shops and buildings that you can see. Now I'm just gonna kind of like walk around, take some pictures, and then I'm gonna try to find a hotel to stay at for one night and get some rest. This is somewhere I would actually come to visit again. I would come here again if possible. Um, because it's just so cute and it's surrounded by the mountains and the nature and the stream. It kind of it's, it's it kind of reminds me of uh, Gyeongju, except it's a little bit more modern, but not too modern. So you can still get like traditional stuff, but then they have modern stuff. So I like this city. This is somewhere I I should have visited a while ago, but I didn't. It's definitely cute and have kids pointing and staring at me right there there she is looking again